back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Rami. I am a labor and delivery nurse, medical student in my second year, a mom and a wife, and my content relates to all of that. So if you haven't already, please click that red subscribe button to join the family and don't forget to like this video. Today's video is gonna be so fun. This week, we just started Repro. I guess it's technically Repro Endo, which is the reproductive system and the endocrine system combined. We just had our first class yesterday. It was kind of just like an intro um, to Repro Endo. Today, we're going to be going to the skills lab and the cadaver lab and looking at all the structures on the cadavers which the first year is dissected so they're all dissected out we did this last year we're just gonna go look at the structures relating to the reproductive system like the uterus fallopian tubes ovaries all that fun stuff on the cadavers I am not a fan of the anatomy lab because I was pregnant last year during my entire anatomy class um, so I dissected for like three hours standing up the whole time feeling nauseous I don't know how I'm gonna feel this time I've been to the anatomy lab a few times after I delivered and the smell wasn't as bad to me um, it's honestly just like a formaldehyde kind of smell if you guys have dissected anything before in anatomy it's similar to that but um, I would say maybe a little bit worse. I'm obviously not going to be filming in there out of respect to the bodies. But after that, we're going to be going to the skills lab, which I'll try to be filming a lot of. We're going to be doing things like checking breasts, doing breast exams, and checking for like lumps and breast cancer and things like that. So um, I think we're going to be doing a few other things in there. So I'm excited to take you guys along. I'm currently pumping. I'm doing my pumping session before I leave. I have like 10 minutes before I have to leave to class um, and go to the cadaver lab. So I always try to get a pumping session in so I can go four hours without having to pump again and pump at school So yeah, today is gonna be super fun I can't wait for you guys to see a little bit of a day in the life of a medical student check out the fit Just got some new fix. Actually, these aren't that new. I got these like a few weeks ago, but This is my first time getting the high-waisted joggers and I absolutely love them so much Yeah, this is the lilac dawn so pretty Hey guys. <laughs> have a kiss? Mwah. <laughs> hey, this is Linda, guys. You guys have seen her before. And we're about to go into the lab. Pelvises, vaginas, and some breasts. So I think we're gonna be doing some examinations regarding that. <laughs> just finished making some dinner. It looks kind of gross because I just splattered all this salsa and sour cream on top. But they are chipotle chicken bowls. I just made some Mexican rice. Kevin made some beans earlier. And then I put some lettuce, cilantro, some tomato, uh, Mexican sour cream, green onion, and salsa. Mmm, so good. And the little lady is just having some beans because they're pureed. <laughs> Okay, let's see how it tastes. This is a big bite. Mmm, so, so good. This Chipotle chicken, man. Mmm. Can't let a vlog go without saying hi to Bear. He just got a nice haircut today. 
by yours truly. I just did a nice four trim on him. <laughs> and then Kevin edged up his beard with a little zero. Hey, okay, bye. You like those beans, baby girl? Yeah, you like those beans? So I'm in the office now. It's actually getting kind of dark because it's already winter. It's about 6.30. I just finished eating and cleaning and now I'm up in the office about to do some studying. If you guys watched my last vlog, um, you guys know that I have been using boot camp as my new kind of like video learning material that I use. No, it's not a sponsor or anything like that. Um, I absolutely love it and I feel like it has been increasing my grades. Somebody commented that they wanted to see kind of how I use boot camp and I'm kind of going to show you guys a little bit of how I use it. I am going to make a dedicated study video of how I study in medical school with a baby. I'm going to be honest guys, if you guys haven't noticed already from watching my vlogs, I'm not a YouTuber who studies for like 10 hours a day, that's not me. Usually I study for two hours or less a day, quite honestly, um, and I do study a little bit more on the weekends. Um, and honestly, being a mom, I can't just have dedicated study time where I'm sitting five hours straight and just sitting in silence studying. I literally passively study until maybe um, two weeks before the exam is when I really like dedicate myself into doing study questions and things like that. But for the most part, pretty much every day, I will do a little bit of passive studying, watching videos, trying to really learn the content and really, really dig deep and learn all of the material on my own time as I'm studying. We do have mandatory classes, unfortunately. So before the lecture, I can kind of tell by the lecture or um, the pre-work presentation beforehand if the lecture is going to be worth my time. Um, if I feel like it's not going to be worth my time, I do study in class. So that could be anywhere from two to four hours of studying during class. Uh, but then again, I am getting distracted by the lecture. So it's not really like dedicated study study time. As you guys saw in today's vlog, I was like cooking and cleaning and doing all this stuff um, kind of while taking care of Violet. But my husband does do a majority of taking care of Violet. Um, and especially during the last couple weeks of um, crunch time when I'm studying for my exams, he really takes over and taking care of Violet and cooking and cleaning and all of that stuff. Um, my husband did a lot of cleaning of the house today. It's kind of a glimpse in our life of how we kind of keep the house maintained and take care of our baby. And I get my study time and I'm able to do well in my classes. And he's able to work on his ratings to become a commercial pilot. He's currently a private pilot. If you guys haven't followed him, I'll put his channel right here. If you guys want to check him out, please subscribe to his channel as well. Um, he makes really good content about flying. I'm all about family. I make family a priority. Medical school is definitely something that's next on my list after my family, but they come first. So if my husband needs help with a baby or needs help with anything, or I just feel like I haven't spent a lot of time with my husband because I've been in class all day. Um, yeah, I do definitely try to spend time with him and watch Netflix and just um, watch Grey's Anatomy with him. We are all caught up in everything. So we love Grey's Anatomy. It's one of our favorite shows that we watch together. So yeah, that's just a little bit of a glimpse of kind of what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't even study up here in the office. This is more of Kevin's office. Usually every day I will study on the couch um, downstairs while talking with Kevin, catching up on our day. Spend time with Violet crawling on the floor. I usually just like to spend time with family while I am studying and I'll just have like an earbud in or something like that. And then watch my videos as we are taking like breaks talking. So I'm just up here because Violet's taking a nap downstairs in her crib and I don't want to be super loud while I'm talking because usually I'm just watching videos with my earphones um, and she doesn't hear all that. So yeah, so let's get studying. I'm currently on the first section of reproduction, which is pretty much fetal development and embryology and reproduction. Um, so I watched a few videos in class yesterday and today, you know, we had all that stuff going on um, in our skills lab. So I'm just going to continue up this section and I'm going to be following along in my first aid book. So 
I finished that section. It took me about one hour to finish the entire embryology section. So um, we're gonna be ending the night. Kevin wants to start a new challenge of uh, doing, what is it, 100 squats, 100 lunges, something like that. Yeah, every day, look at this girl. Look at this girl, just pulling up on the couch. <laughs> We are currently going to be doing that while baby girl just walks and crawls around. Um, oh, 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 she bumped her little head. Oh, no, no. Oh, I am so sorry. And she likes to climb up on all the furniture and everything she sees. She's just like a climber, but then like, she's still pretty bad at falling. So she'll just fall flat. Um, so, so I would like to let her crawl around just on the carpet area. Um, she has a little playpen here with like a foam padded mat and everything, but she hates us being locked up in there and she just wants to be with us at all times. So <laughs> I'm sorry. We leave it open for her to have the option to crawl back in and out. I'm sorry. You feel better? You feel better? Oh, she's ready to go back to it. Okay, see ya. Gotta get that glisten. Good job, babe. I'll eat that pumpkin pie.